first, Kelly Sullivan is live with more details on the damage left behind. Well, as quick as the storms moved in, they moved out. But before leaving, they caused quite some damage to tree limbs and power lines in some Narragansett neighborhoods. This video from an eyewitness news viewer shows a quick moving storm made its mark on Narragansett Tuesday evening. Steve Arnold left his house just after 6 o'clock to get dinner, but he could see the storm in his rearview mirror. It was a kind of a dark cloud following me all the way down, thunder and lightning. On his way home, Arnold had to pull over because he could barely see in front of him. It was hail and rain, and with the lightning, it was very, very vivid and very low, and uh, it just wasn't safe to drive, so everybody was pulling over. It actually, there was a line of cars all the way up Boston Neck Road. We could see cars trying to pass through Old Boston Neck Road, only to be turned around by tree limbs and wires in the way. Crews cleared the area so National Grid could turn off the power. And just a short distance away on Bedford Circle, limbs fell on this power line, causing sparks to fly. Eyewitness news cameras also captured members from the National Weather Service surveying the damage, trying to determine what type of storm tore through the area. Residents say it only lasted about 20 minutes, but the winds strong enough to leave a mark. Uh, no, I've lived here all my life. I've never seen a storm like that. That was pretty intense. So we've confirmed the National Weather Service sent a survey team to several areas in Narragansett and the team determined that it was 60 mile per hour straight line winds that caused this damage. Reporting live with the Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.